Shalom. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwaf. That'll be you, brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza. That is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully, by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother, Amawan Ibad. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bar Shim Yahweh Shai. To feed the lambs of Yahweh. Yahweh Shai. As commanded. Um, this lesson I'm going to be going to going into today. It's going to be called give praise and glory unto the Lord. Okay? Give praise and glory unto the Lord. And I'm going to read the book of um, Psalms 93 and um, Psalms 96. You know? And um, may the Lord be glorified. Alright? So let's read. This is the book of Psalms uh, chapter 93 beginning at verse 1. It says Yahweh reigneth he is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength, wherewith he had girded himself. The world is also established, that it cannot be moved. Thy throne is established of old. Thou art from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Yahweh. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their, their waves Verse 4, Psalms chapter 93 and verse 4 says, The Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters, yea, than the mighty waves of the sea. Verse 5, it says, Thy testimonies are very sure. Holiness becometh thy house, O Yahweh, forever. So, this chapter right here is a very beautiful chapter. And I thought uh, I would read it, you know, to um, 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 glorify and praise the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know. So, yeah, give praise, you know, and glory. Give glory and praise unto the Lord, you know. So, moving on, this is the book of um, Psalms, the 96th chapter. Okay, beginning at verse 1, it says, O sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto Yahweh. Bless his name. Shew forth his salvation from day to day. Verse 3 says, Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. That's right. Okay? The Lord is great and greatly to be praised, man. He's that uh, he's that 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 infinite power, you know, endless, you know, and boundless, you know, the um uh, um um omnipotent, you know. You know? Yeah, that 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 that, that almighty, you know. Is that is that true power to be to, to, to be uh glorified and to be praised, man. And to be feared, you know, Psalms chapter 96 and verse 4, again it says, For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. That's right. Verse 5 says, For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. That's right. All these, 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 these lowercase g gods, they, they, they're idols, man. You, you see what happened? Um, <laughs> During during the 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 the, the, the C19, uh, what was this year We're over there? Elam was throwing away all the idols because the idols couldn't help them. Okay, verse five again. It says, "For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens." That's right. Verse six. It says, "Honor and majesty are before Him, strength and beauty." are in his sanctuary 
Give unto the Lord, ye kindreds, O Salakia. Give unto Yahweh, O ye kindreds of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Okay? So, yeah. You're going to um, glory, give glory and praise unto the Lord, man. You know? Psalms chapter 96 and verse 7. Give unto the Lord, O ye kindreds of the people, give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O worship Yahweh in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Okay? You're supposed to fear before him. You know, there's a, a scripture say, will you not tremble at my presence? You know? Yeah. You're supposed to fear before the Lord, man, and have a healthy fear of the Lord. Okay? Verse, Psalms 96 uh, and verse 9, it says, Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him. All the earth say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth. That's right. The world also shall be established that it sh shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. Verse 12 says, Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice. Verse 13 this is the last verse. And it says, Before the Lord, for he be slackia, for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. Okay? It says, He shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. So, yeah, man, we got to give um, glory and praise unto the Lord, man. And a, 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 a scripture come to mind. I'm going to grab that, grab that scripture real quick uh, before I close out. Um, get that uh, as, as Ecclesiasticus to um, 43rd chapter at the 30th verse. It says, when ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as he can. For even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength. And be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. Hey, you got to put forth your strength, man. You know, and, and call upon the name of the Lord. And trust in the Lord, man. You know, glorify him and, and, and exalt his name. You know, in the earth, you know, praise his name and give glory unto him, you know. So let me read this last verse again. I'm going to get ready to close out. It says, Ecclesiastes, otherwise known as Sirach chapter 43 and verse 30, it says, When ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as he can, for even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary for ye can never go far enough. That's why we can never go far enough, man. We got to keep, 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 keep giving praise, glory, and honor to the Most High, Yahweh, Bar Shem you know? So, I'm going to end it there, Lord willing, you were edified. On to the next one. Shalom.